Firstly, a big thank you to MSI for making it possible for Hardware Unbox to attend Computex 2019. Please check out their latest gaming and creator desktop range powered by Intel Core 9th Gen processors via the link in the description. Also, a thank you to Corsair for their support. Check out their new products again via links below. Welcome back to Hardware Unbox. We're here at the ASRock booth at Computex 2019. They've got, of course, their whole new range of AMD X570 motherboards that we're going to take a look at, including what I believe is one of the only micro ATX X570 motherboards on show. So that is very exciting. We'll be checking that out, as well as some concept VGA cards, which look pretty likely that they're going to be used for some Navi GPUs. So let's get to it. All right, let's take a look at all of these ASRock X570 motherboards, or at least the most interesting of the bunch. Unfortunately, you guys looking on the ASRock website right now will only see two X570 boards, the Tai Chi and the Phantom Gaming X. But ASRock did have several others on show that will be released alongside Ryzen 3000. The top end board, and I'm kind of discounting the Aqua here because that's an extreme enthusiast product, is of course the X570 Tai Chi as expected. 12 plus two phase VRM on this board and the other top end X570 boards. And from what I understand, that's using a doubler design with 50 amp Dr. Moz power stages, although I don't have the controller specs. PCIe 4.0, of course, Wi Fi 6, active cooling for the chipset, so a bit of a redesign for the heat sinks and M.2 covers, but it still looks okay. And there's, of course, RGB action as well. The X570 Phantom Gaming X is also a top end board that has the same VRM design as the X570 Tai Chi and in fact has a nearly identical feature set aside from a few differences visually. The one main addition to the Phantom Gaming X is ASRock's 2.5 gigabit wide networking so I guess that makes it a higher end board than the Tai Chi. Will be interesting to see how they're priced. We know a lot of you guys are micro ATX fans, so it's good to finally see an MATX board with X570 at Computex. ASRock's X570M Pro 4 is mid-tier in its specs with an 8 plus 2 phase VRM design and a step down in components from the big boys. Still, of course, has active cooling for the chipset and an M.2 heat spreader. DDR4 4400 support, so one step down from DDR4 4666 that you get with the Tai Chi and Phantom Gaming X. Of course, it doesn't have as many features as the bigger boards, which you might expect given the size, but it should still be pretty capable for Ryzen 3000 CPUs, especially given it still has an 8-phase VRM design, although we'll have to see how that cooling stacks up. Another board that might interest you is the X570 Phantom Gaming ITX TB3, which steps down the VRM to a 6 plus 2 phase design, again not sure on the components used here. The big inclusion here is Thunderbolt 3, this is the only X570 board of this form factor we've seen that has Thunderbolt 3 support, so that's really cool for those that want to make a super compact system with high speed device connectivity. It also uses an Intel LGA mount for the cooler because the standard AM4 mount is too large and prevents ASRock from doing as much with the board's mini ITX form factor as it can with this design. The other ASRock boards with Thunderbolt 3 are the X570 Creator and X570 Aqua. The X570 Creator is another high-end board, although rather than targeting gamers, it's targeting creators as the name suggests, with features like two Thunderbolt 3 ports, up to DDR4 4666 support, and a Quantia 10 gigabit LAN plus Wi-Fi 6, and an additional Intel gigabit LAN. It also includes 10 USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports as well. Then for the Aqua, we hear this is a $1,000 motherboard, so it will be pretty niche and for specialist open loop water cooling builds. It's also a limited edition design, so only $999 are being made, but boy does it look awesome with a full water block coverage for the CPU, VRM, and the X570 chipset. The VRM design again sounds the same as ASRock's other high-end designs, so a 12 plus 2 phase with 50 amp stages, but unclear on the components once again. And yeah, all the top-end connectivity features like you'd want from such an expensive board. ASRock are also bringing out several other X570 boards that unfortunately I don't have a lot of details on. We have the X570 Phantom Gaming 4, X570 Extreme 4, X570 Pro 4, and X570 Steel Legend, which I believe are all the sorts of mid-range to entry-level X570 motherboards that will fill out the rest of ASRock's lineup. I'd expect most of these will use either 8 plus 2 or 6 plus 2 phase VRMs depending on the price point. Don't have pricing on these either, although we did hear that because of the X570 chipset's price, X570 boards in general won't be super cheap. 
Aside from the motherboards, ASRock were also showing off three VGA concept cards, which will almost certainly become their designs for upcoming Navi GPUs. ASRock only make AMD graphics cards and their Vega line is finalized, so it's not hard to see why they've made these new designs and where they'll be used. Two of the variants were for the Phantom Gaming line and the other was a Tai Chi model. All are pretty beefy, occupying at least two and a half, if not three slots, and all come with three fans. We're looking at plenty of RGB effects, including illuminated fans, logos, and backplates, depending on the model at hand. So yeah, pretty obvious these will be used for Navi GPUs, given they are high-end coolers designed for more powerful cars than they've worked with before. ASRock does sell Vega and Radeon 7 models, but all are simple reference designs while the RX 590 and below use their custom dual fan coolers. These new designs look pretty good so hopefully they will be well suited to AMD's next generation products. Alright well that's it for the ASRock booth at Computex 2019. Hope you guys enjoyed the close up look at some of the AMD X570 stuff that they've got on show here. Um, yeah, hopefully Steve will be getting some of these products into review over, you know, the next couple of months when all the Ryzen 3000 stuff and X570 comes out. So I'll put that job on him to test all that VRM stuff like he loves to do. As always, you can subscribe for the rest of our Computex 2019 coverage. Give this video a like if you like it. Subscribe, do all that stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one.